there, I'm Leanne, and I am here with JC of ATI Performance Products to learn a little bit about the new products that they have in their booth. Now, you guys are known for your crank pin drill fixtures as well as your dampeners. So, we want to know, uh, can you tell us about these crank pin drill fixtures? Sure, yeah. So, all, all the late model cars come with a crank and no key and no way to retain the damper. So, when you're doing high performance racing or you're hitting the rev limiter or you've got a supercharger, you really need a good way to fix the crank hub to the crank snout without it spinning. If it ever spins, it tears up the crank, it's expensive, and sometimes the damper will come off. So. We patented a crank pin drill fixture a few years back, actually from when we were circle track racing, because you would run on the rev limiter, you'd bounce off it, and it would loosen the damper up. So the fixture through the years has, has really helped us keep the damper on the engine when you have a lot of boost. You can do two pins. We also have a kit for the GM LS distributor drive, so you can pick up the timing gear and, and get your timing marks in the right place. So, someone with a high horsepower vehicle, what would the benefits of this product be? Well, the first benefit is the damper's not going to come off and blow out from under the hood. And that's not just our damper, but any damper. So, actually putting a pin that's sticking out of the crankshaft that can pick up the keyway that's already in all of our dampers is the only way to properly retain it and keep the damper on the front of the crank. So, we want to learn about these new dampeners that you guys actually have. Sure, so we unveiled our Audi and VW dampers here at the show. Uh, we saw a need in the market for some failures out there and just uh, not having all the applications filled. So we came up with two ways to do it. One for the lower horsepower, kind of the street guys, um, somewhere around five, 600 horsepower or less, and it's a bolt-on design to the front of the lower timing gear hub. Uh, we've made our, our parts a little thicker and stronger than OEM stuff, and it comes with correct length bolts to retain it. And the guys that are really going all out, the, your guys that are at World Cup right now and, and racing versus imports versus domestics, we integrated the lower timing pulley into the damper, kind of like we do on our Evo and a couple others, and it is absolutely the strongest way to retain the damper on, on your VW or Audi. So I know that some products have uh, a little bit of technical difficulty for the user as far as bolting it onto the car. Is there any modification that needs to be done for this product? Sure. So the race version is a little harder to bolt on because you have to pick up the timing belt and the keyway at the same time. So with both dampers, you're going to need a sander. There's a dust cover on the front of the engine with a rib that's in the way. You can knock that out of the way and you're good. And for the timing belt, there's uh, one spot you drill a half inch hole so you can get into the adjuster without taking, taking the cover off and messing with it. Other than that, it's a really easy install. And I noticed you guys said that you have a race version and basically a street version. Would you happen to have something for, say, my Mustang? Yeah, we've got all the Mustangs covered, uh, you know, all the way through the trucks, the Ford Raptor and uh, the 5 O's and everybody else. All, the, all your uh, Super Cobra Jets from, for factory NHRA racing come with our, our crankshaft super damper. We've got up to 20% overdrive if you really want to go fast. This is good information. Where can the viewers learn more information about your product? Sure, ATIRacing.com. We've been in Baltimore, Maryland for 56 years, and you can look us up on Facebook. Fantastic. All right, guys, stay tuned for more on Power Auto Media.